Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be uh, removing a stuck choke tube. Uh, these um, mobile style chokes, they get locked in really tight, so generally we have to spud them to remove them. But the process that I have, um, there is not a choke tube that I cannot get out. Uh, you, will, you will receive your choke tube back if it's uh, something that you use a lot of or it's, or it's an expensive choke tube, you'll get it back uh, unharmed. So. Um, the first thing that we do is uh, we'll start off with this this uh, little spud here. Uh, this spud will actually go inside the barrel because uh, we're going to clamp it down in a barrel vise and we will put so much force on this barrel to keep it from turning that we will end up crushing the barrel without this spud. Uh, this, uh, this spud is uh, turned down, precision turned to perfectly fit the inside diameter of the barrel. So by the way, I have uh, my vice blocks milled out for the uh, rib so that it'll sit just like this and never contact the rib. Um, then I have a curved block that's milled out for a 10 gauge that works on this also. It'll go on the top side. Uh, this uh, rib was a little taller than uh, the, the slot cut in my block, so I carried it over to the mill, milled it out a little deeper, and now we're back on it. So now I'm going to <clears throat> insert these, uh, this spud that I made. Um, I've got it made for 12 gauge, uh, full modified, so on, so on, uh, uh, 2016. Um, these are what I use to pull, actually pull the choke tube out with. I'm going to get this um, inserted into the choke tube. And as soon as I get done with that, then we'll grab the impact and we'll show you how they come out. All right, we're back. Uh, I've got the spud in. Uh, the barrel's locked down. We're ready to remove the choke. But first, I'm going to show you guys just how locked in this choke tube is. Um, in there. Impact. It's 
just going to rip it right out of there fast, easy, and no problem. And there it is. <clears throat> you can see how rusted up the tube is. Um, it's bad rusted right here, all the way around really. Uh, the threads are rusted in. So now we're going to get this choke tube out and uh, get it cleaned up. Screw it back in the gun. Be ready to go. All right, so here's the tube. Uh, got the spud out of it, and there it is. There's the inside of it. Nothing wrong with the tube. It's ready to go back in. All we got to do is clean all this rust up, and uh, it'll be ready. Um, if any of you decide that you want to try to do this at home, uh, I would wisely suggest against it. Because unless you have the correct machines to make these blocks, uh, you have a barrel vise, you have a, a way to make a, a spud to go inside the barrel to keep from clamping down too hard and crushing the barrel, uh, you will end up spinning the barrel and uh, breaking the rib off. So you're going to have more problems than just a stuck choke tube. Uh, we get them in almost weekly where people have put them in a bench vise. Uh, they have tried to get the choke tube out themselves. They burnt the camo up or they um, tore the end of the choke tube up with the ease out. Um, or they spun the barrel, broke the rib, or they spin the barrel and break the barrel lug off. So I charge $135 to pull choke tubes uh, when, they're, when they're this stuck in. It's a very small price to pay uh, versus having all the machinery to make all this stuff first to do one or two barrels um, and the chance of tearing something up. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. Um, I have found different ways to do things my way, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and I did it all with trial and error. Meaning that yes, when I tried something, generally it didn't work the first time. So I have, I have, um, uh, messed up plenty of things to get to where I am now and of course that's all part of learning if you have an old scrap barrel that you want to try by all means go for it uh, but I would not suggest doing it on your duck gun that you use yearly because something can go wrong in an instant and when you're using an impact uh, that barrel will spin in the blink of an eye and break the rib off and then you're you're done so uh, if anybody needs any choke tubes removed y'all feel free to give us a call uh, if you're not close enough to drive in mail it in we'll have it done the next day ship back out to you uh, I appreciate all of y'all watching y'all stay tuned for more videos and uh, if there's anything that y'all want to see let us know and we'll try to work it in. <clears throat> We're doing some gunsmithing videos right now. So uh, we're, we're working on uh, some restoration videos. Naturally, those take a lot longer. So uh, we're, we're uh, uh, getting a, or building a bunch of video right now to get our first restoration video out. So just stay tuned. It'll be out real soon. Thank you, guys.